Hey, what's up? Today, I will be summarizing the most dangerous game and comparing it to online. Let's begin! Our story begins on a boat somewhere in the Caribbean Sea. Our main protagonist, Rainsford, is on this boat with his crew and he hears two gunshots off the side. He goes to investigate and falls off the side of the boat. Since he realized faster than how fast he can swim, he decides to head towards the island where he heard the two gunshots. This island is called Ship Trap Island, though nobody knows why. When he reaches this island, he finds a mansion which appears to be deserted. Really? Thanks! Rainsford goes up and knocks on the mansion door, where he's greeted by a tall, burly man with a pistol to Rainsford's chest. He later finds out that this man is Ivan, a deaf and mute Russian who just so happens to be the servant of General Zaroff. General Zaroff is an experienced hunter. He's been hunting since he was a little boy, and frankly, it's become quite boring. There's no longer an animal that Zaroff can't kill. When Zaroff sees Rainsford, he recognizes him instantly and invites him over to dinner. In this dinner, he explains to Rainsford how animals have become boring to hunt, and how he's created the most dangerous game. In the most dangerous game, he hunts the most dangerous game. Humans. When Rainsford hears this, he naturally wants to leave, but it's too late. If he wants to leave the island, he has to play the most dangerous game. The rules are simple. The prey is given a three hour head start, a hunting knife, and a supply of food. The general is given a pack of dogs, Ivan, his servant, and the smallest, shortest range caliber that he has. The prey has to survive three days running away from Ivan. If they can, they get to go back to their lives. But if they can't, they die. And so this horrid game of cat and mouse began. After quite some time, Rainsford had still not been captured by General Zarnov, so the general decided to release the hounds. After that, Rainsford jumped into the ocean and swam to General Zarnov's mansion. The general, who assumed that Rainsford had been lost at sea, decided to go back to his mansion for a quick nap. Little did he know, Rainsford was already in his bedroom. He turned out the lights, and Rainsford murdered General Zaroff. A comparison of the most dangerous game to Unwind is that both Rainsford and the Unwinds have to do everything in their power to survive. And, uh... <laughs> And a contrast would be, while Rainsford is being hunted illegally, the Unwinds are being hunted legally. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> that would have been a bummer. A theme of the most dangerous game is that to not trust anyone, no matter how nice they seem, because you have no idea how good they are at acting. And a characterization of Rainsford is that he is obviously very cautious because even from the very start, he never trusted General Zaroff. Well, that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see all of you dudes in the next video.